A lot of you guys are wanting more like longer videos to watch while you crochet. Here's that video for you to entertain yourself. So get your hook, get your yarn, work on your project you're working on, and enjoy the video. Hello, it's vlog time. I can put you here and we can chat a bit, shall we? A lot of you guys have been being have been saying like, oh my god, you're so fast, how do you get fast, blah 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 at crocheting. And the answer is just by crocheting more but i thought it'd be fun to do a little 24 hour crochet challenge to see how much i can crochet in 24 hours this is the project that we're going to be doing i chose a project that's been on my list for a while i'm only making this for me um just because i thought it was really funny and like cute and i want one isn't it cute it's a mouse in a suitcase he's a traveling mouse and he has multiple outfits and the suitcase is going to be the biggest part, obviously. But I want to see if I can get this entire project, like, from the first page of the pattern to the last page of the pattern, done in 24 hours. So let's see if I can do it. I am confident in myself. Although, some projects take me 40 hours to do. So, like, but I don't know how big this is, this is like, practically. So I just... We're gonna go in with a big project and hopefully finish it. I also am not purchasing any yarn for this for this project. I'm going to be using only the colors that I have on my shelves. Try and also get rid of some colors. With that being said, let's get started. I'm gonna be using the Ow! 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 What the f- <coughs> Call your cat! My brother's cat is literally biting my ankles. Okay. I'm gonna be using the pattern on my iPad, which I highly recommend. If you have an iPad, get, uh, what is this app? Good Notes? I think it's good notes get good notes and when you download an Etsy pattern like send it into good notes so that you can actually write on it like as you go so you can check off stuff as you do it like that's the best way if you have access to an iPad you should do this it looks like we have to pick out some colors for the outside of the suitcase and I like these colors so I'm gonna see if I have something similar but I don't have this yellow color so we're gonna have to look for a different kind of color to use in the inside and we're, it looks like we're gonna need a lot of it so let's just start with the suitcase the colors that we're gonna be using are gonna be pulled from this cart and those three cubbies that is all my stock that I have um, for projects for fun. <laughs> um, I have a whole nother stock that's literally just the colors of the stuff that I sell in my Etsy shop. I like this tan with like dark brown. So I think what I'm gonna do, I have some of this leftover tan yarn from the mushroom hat I made for the fantasy video. So we're gonna use up this. I think I got some of, I got some of it here and then I got a roll here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and use this up and then we need an inside color and for hers She did like yellow ish, but I don't have that color and frankly, I think that color is ugly So I think what I'm gonna use I'm gonna try and get rid of these greens This is I have this green. I just don't know if I have enough of it for the entire inside I don't know how big this is, but I like how these colors go together. So I think I'm going to make the inside green. And then she did like dark brown for the handles and buckles. So I, I know I have dark brown. I think it's right here. So let's go ahead and use dark brown. Okay, I actually like these colors. So outside, inside, handles and buckles. And let's just start there and then we'll get to the interior stuff after the suitcase is made. Before I start the clock, let's just take a look at the pattern and kind of see kind of see like what we're doing with here it says you'll need yarn weight doesn't matter blah 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 yarn weight doesn't matter the size of your project will simply turn out bigger or smaller all right slay i guess four millimeter hook i have that six millimeter black safety eyes i have those somewhere toy stuffing i have that um a plastic canvas ah uh, Oh, like it needs pl something to go in it to make it sturdy. Uh, I don't have plastic. I could probably find like foam board or um, cardboard. I'll just use cardboard or cardboard or foam board. So let me just mark that. So this is my process. I go through the whole pattern and kind of just make sure I have everything I need before I start. Especially with something big like this with like a bunch of different uh, pieces. So we're going to need cardboard or 
foam board. Two small buttons, two medium buttons for the suitcase. So I have buttons. Uh, press the snap presser if you'd like the mouse to be able to hold the cheese. All the optional. Other tools you'll need a tapestry needle, stitch markers. Okay. The stitches are pretty simple. Top stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, increase, decrease, back loop, front loop. You may sell items made from this pattern. All right. So it looks like she wants us to start with the wrap, but I'm not starting with the wrap. I'm going to start with the suitcase. So I have to do a lot of scrolling to get to the suitcase. Oh, here we go. Or ensure that you make the suitcase inside before starting the suitcase outside. My brother is streaming. What size crochet hook am I using, Bestie? Is she gonna tell us? There were two crochet hooks listed. A suitable size hook for the yarn you have chosen. I used a four millimeter hook. Okay, so here's a little lesson for you. For those of you who are like, what do I do if I don't have this same yarn as the pattern? And I need to figure out if mine will come out the same size. What I do is I look up the yarn she used and look up the weight of it. Figuring out what size hook to use with the yarn that I use, depending on this pattern, is the hardest part. DK yarn in the category 3 of light yarn, it's thinner than category 4. So, category 4 yarn. So, if it's thinner and she uses size 4, and I use thicker yarn, and I want it to be the similar size, then I should probably use a smaller hook than this says. So, this says 5.5. We don't want it to be 5.5. We kind of we don't want any holes, so I'm just gonna go down one hook size. I think I'm gonna work with a 4.5, 4.0, or 4 4 millimeter or 4.5. I think I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a 4.5 instead of a 4 because my yarn is thicker than the yarn that she used. So basically, my suitcase is just gonna be bigger than her suitcase by a little bit because it's gonna be thicker yarn with a slightly bigger needle, um, slightly bigger hook. So which is fine. I'm just writing this in my notes so that if I ever look back later and I'm like, what yarn, what hook did I use if I want to make it again, I have it written down. Not only will I be updating you on the progress of the crocheted mouse in a suitcase, um, but we're also going, I'll be updating you on what I'm watching or listening to as entertainment for entertainment purposes. We're going to start. I'm going to watch today's episode of Emergency Intercom, episode 99, baby. Okay. You are in for a bumpy ride. Like, should I tell y'all what happened to me when I was in the car earlier? I drives with my windows down and I just horn and I. The episode is over. We just hit one hour. This is all we got. <laughs> I did the inner part of the suitcase. Also just found out I have to make another one of these for like the top part of the suitcase, the inside of it. So here's one. This is like a size reference. This is my MacBook. This is like a size reference or like I guess you could look at like an iPad. It's about the size, a little less than an iPad. So the, rat is, the mouse is gonna lay here. But I have to make one more of these for the inner section. So this one took an hour. So I'm assuming the other one's gonna take an hour. So, but I'm gonna take a little break because my hands are ramping we are two hours in and let me just well for one here's the progress we got the other piece done each inside of the suitcase piece took an hour to do each so we're two hours in and let me just say my hands are already hurting like hurting 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 and i'm rethinking this entire video idea just because i'm like this project is gonna take a while if each inside piece takes me an hour, the outside pieces will probably each take me an hour. That puts us at four pieces, four hours. I honestly think that we're gonna finish this well before we hit 24 hours of crocheting. So I'm gonna have to come up with another project probably. But I don't know, I could just be, I could just have a lot of confidence, you know, in my abilities. Drinking a little Starbies. It is 3 p.m. So it's like the middle of the day. Oh my God, look what I have to deal with. She just picked up my stitch counter in her mouth and took off running. Like, it was right here. She picked it up, took off running. Look. Give me my stitch counter. She's a thief. I posted about the crocheting 24 hours straight video that I'm filming right now. This is for all of you who have been DMing me based off that story and telling me to take breaks. I'm taking a break right now at the two hour mark. My hands already kill me. I'm gonna take a little breaky break. Probably just scroll, doom scroll on TikTok for a bit. And then we'll get back into it. Get back into it. So the next thing that we have, I'm not gonna show you the pattern because I just realized I paid for this pattern. And if I show you like what the pattern says, that would be 
like against the buying a pattern policy you know what i mean so there's a pocket that goes on the inside of one of these to hold all of the mouse clothing and this is how much i have left of this yarn color which is not a lot so we're going to be playing a little bit of yarn chicken with the last part that i need this color for i'm pretty sure it's the last part i need the color for because the next part is the outside which i have a different color for that okay guys i won yarn chicken that's how much of the color we had left and I finished sewing in the pocket to the top part of the suitcase. So now we're going to switch to the outside of the case, which is this lovely uh, tan-ish color. Um, so that's going to be the outside of the suitcase. And I'm going to get started on that. We're around like the three hour mark. She uses this like plastic grid stuff. I don't have any of that. And I don't want to buy anything for this project. So I'm borrowing some foam board. So I just cut a piece to fit. I left some more space because this is thicker. So it's going to need like space to pinch around if that makes sense. But I cut this piece and now it just looks like I'm going to finish this. And then we have to connect these pieces together. It's a whole thing, but three hours in. A little problem. Just a little problem. Why am I getting a phone call? Hello? Sure, I'll be right out. Okay, bye. We're a couple hours in and I realized something with the way that I'm tracking time. It's not it's not accurate of how much I can crochet in a 24 hour period if I'm stop watching. Does that make sense? So hold on. Anyways, if I'm stop watching every time I crochet, that's just like that can go over days. Can go over days. So I'm switching how we're tracking this to 24 hour period, okay? How much I can get done in a 24 hour period with breaks with sleeping with stopping to eat it's how much i can get done so i started at 1 p.m today and it's currently 5 30 p.m so we're about like four and a half hours in so that's how we're gonna track it okay four and a half hours in ignore how i did it in the beginning of the video okay <laughs> this is where we're at so i cut this a while ago but we got one of the outer pieces done and i think the next step is sewing this in between the inner and the outer piece I don't know. I'm reading and rereading the pattern and I'm very confused. So I have to figure out how to do it and then I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, so I just sewed in that piece of foam board I showed you. It basically just makes it like firm, I guess. So I'm about to do the same thing but with smaller pieces on the sides and then I'm sewing this around. And then I'm basically doing this again with this piece. And then it'll make the suitcase part. But it's so cool because I've never done a project like that where it has like structure board in it or something to keep it structured so that's kind of cool i'm borrowing dylan's board and foam board and knife to do this part which by the way is so much harder than i thought it was going to be okay just making sure that i cut this stuff right without cutting a finger off there we go so i just cut the other square piece but now i have to cut this is all that i want to borrow from Dylan, I don't want to like use all his foam board. So I'm going to try and make this work for the edges of it. Okay, so I just cut this square that's in here, a rectangle. I cut the one for the other side. But I need to cut something that will fit all four sides of this one and the next one. So, okay, Jasper, if you want to say hi, just say so. <laughs> but I need to make enough to fit. Oh my god. He's playing with the string on the camera. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, he's shy now. Because I literally caught him in the act. Excuse me. He's eating my supplies. Stop eating my supplies. Let me actually get a ruler. Hey, bestie. Do you have a ruler I can borrow? I see all that back. What's 1.5 times 4? This part of the process is a little annoying, I'm not going to lie. Oh, okay. These are basically four inches long. These are in no way perfect. I don't even know if they're actually gonna fit. It doesn't matter because we're just gonna try our best. So I measured out all the side pieces for what I think they should be. My measurements are different than what's in the pattern because I use a different hook and different yarn. So mine's gonna be a little bigger. So I don't have any measurements to go off of. I'm really just winging it, I guess. It looks like I did the measurements right. Because look, it's literally like a secure 
box. It's so I think this is the top part of the suitcase, but it's it's got board in it, so it's like really structured, and I love that. So now I just have to make the outer layer. I have to make the outer layer with this color, and then basically do the same thing I just did, but with the other side of the suitcase. It's 6.30, and I'm taking a break to eat dinner. You guys wanna see what I'm eating for dinner? Hawaiian barbecue, and I'm catching up on my H3. I'm gonna give you a little update. I did the outer layer for the second part of it, but I just found out that I was supposed to make a pocket that gets sewn onto this before they get sewn together. So I'm making the pocket right now. Luckily enough, I have another skein of this color because this is all I have left. So I'm making the pocket and then I'm supposed to sew the pocket on and then basically do the same thing I did with this one. And then I think at that point, I'm gonna take a longer break and kind of shower because my hands are killing me. Okay, um, a little update. I sewed the pocket on to the bottom half, whatever. Anyways, I'm watching H3 because what else would I be doing? Well, I crochet. I'm watching Ethan's birthday extravaganza live from the Ace Theater. Dude, it's so good. And I'm so sad I didn't get tickets, but anyways, it's very good. 10 out of 10 recommend. And it's only 40 minutes into the show, so I'm excited for more. It's 9.10. I'm so tired. I know I shouldn't be, but I am. We have, oh, wrong side. We have what looks like the beginnings of a suitcase. It's connected, it opens and closes. There's a pocket on the outside and there's a pocket on the inside. Apparently I was supposed to put the pocket on the same side as this, just on the other side. But I messed it up, but it's fine because it's just for fun, so I'm not redoing it. Um, but we have what is resembling the workings of a suitcase. But I will say I've been going hard on this project for hours on hours. My hands are in dire need of a break. So I am going to take a break, a pretty good break. And I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to let my hands breathe. And then we're going to come back and finish the details of the suitcase. So all of the dark brown parts. Once the suitcase is completely done, then I'm going to work on the mouse and his accessories. Because I want a place to put the accessories as I get them done. So I just want to say this is my first project working with um, like any kind of board or anything that keeps a crochet project structured. And let me just tell you. I love it it was so it's so fun like it's just such a fun pattern and I feel like I'm I'm learning some new skills with this one so super fun so let's take a break I'll see y'all later my hand is shaking when I like I don't know if you guys can see that but it's literally just aching from crocheting for so long so I'm definitely taking a break but look at the colors Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And it makes like a noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I love it. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be so cool. I'm laying flat because my back hurts so bad from crocheting. <laughs> it's because the way that I sit when I crochet, I like hunch over. So my back hurts so bad. Also, I took a shower and then ignore my chin. I took a shower and then spent 20 minutes picking my face <laughs> in the mirror. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not okay. What time is it? 10:40, guys. It's 10:40. I haven't done anything to the project since last time I checked in. I guess I took a shower, picked my face. I'm laying flat. My hands hurt. My back hurts. I took meds to make the pain go away. I could have a glass of wine, but wine makes me sleepy. So I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know. Look at the bags under my eyes. Yo, uh, this is, oh, why am I doing this to myself? Why did I decide to make this a video? Why couldn't I have just done literally anything else? Okay, it's fine. Oh my god, my back hurts so bad. It's not even my back, it's like my upper like shoulder area. Where I would hunch over basically. Like, you know, when you hunch forward, that's what hurts. It's like achy. I know it's because of the way I was sitting while I've been crocheting all day. I know that. 
Let's give you a little pillow. I spent however long, literally look at my, I just sit and look in the mirror and pick my face. Ignore it. I know you probably do it too. A lot of people do it, but what I've been doing with my free time. Oh, I just realized the wind is blowing. What I've been doing on my free time. Do you hear that? No peace and quiet in this house. What I've been doing, for one, scrolling on TikTok, two, um, being completely unhinged on Hinge. You know, the dating app. That's what I've been doing. I've just been making, being mean, pretty much. And you know what's really sad about all of this? Is I want ice cream, and literally, I want something chocolatey so bad right now. I would, I would sell a finger for it. Not a limb or a kidney, but I would sell a finger. I mean, I could go to like a corner store, but no one wants to do that. Oh my god. Whose dumb idea was it to do the 24-hour crochet thing? Whose idea was it? I think it was mine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I want to go to sleep. I literally just want to sleep. I have so many more freckles this summer than like... A lot of this is freckles, guys. I prop look at. I have so many more freckles this summer than all the previous summers. It's kind of a slay. Kind of love the freckle look. Um, I'm just gonna be a little vulnerable online right now. But whenever I'm talking to someone, usually a man, and they're like, "What you doing?" <laughs> and I don't want to be like, "Oh, I'm I'm crocheting a mouse in a suitcase uh, um, for a." YouTube video for my subscribers who love me, <laughs> whom I love. Um, and then I have to explain that I have a YouTube channel. And then I have to be okay with the fact that he's probably gonna go and watch my videos. <laughs> and it's not okay. I don't like it. It makes me feel so, what's the word, vulnerable? Uh, because I love you guys. But the random men who are gonna come from matching with me on a dating app and finding out I have a YouTube channel, I'm not okay with them watching my videos. They're not allowed. <laughs> they need to go away. These are for you guys, not for them. That's all I have to say. That's what's on my mind right now. Anyways, I'm gonna lay and let my back and my medication kick in. And then once I'm feeling good and my muscles aren't hurting, um, I'm gonna get back to crocheting. <laughs> I closed my eyes. I just laid down and I scrolled on my silly little phone and I fell asleep for, I don't know, 40 minutes. All my lights are on, so like I woke back up and I was like, ah, oh, it's bright. And then I was like, oh no, <laughs> I have to finish crocheting a mouse and a suitcase. Okay, let's go downstairs and get a little snack and then we'll crochet. I'm just gonna drink some of this. Hi, Jasper. Say hi. Let's get rid of the water. Mm. Okay, so now I'm gonna work with the dark brown and I'm gonna make the handles and like the buckle straps. Found this bag of like wood like buttons from another project that I have. Um, so I'm gonna go through these and just find two that are the same size that can work for fastening onto this suitcase. And look, I got the handles on. I got the handles on. I got the buckles on. I chose um, I chose two different buttons because I thought it would be cute. But these, they fasten on these loops. And so it's all ready to go. Now I'm going to do, I'm kind of really tired of sewing things in. It's like my two least favorite things about crocheting is working with buttons and sewing stuff onto items. So I'm going to move and I'm going to actually start the mouse. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for this. Look at my mouse boy. He's not perfect. And at some point, the arms were like, there was an arm coming out of here and an arm coming out of here. So I miscounted. And I kind of just had to undo it and wing it. And I stopped going off the pattern. And I ended up with this little mouse. He has a tail. And he has little ears and he has eyes and a little nose. Isn't he so cute? He's like the size, oh, mm, the size of like my hand. He's cute and little. And now 
it's time to see if he fits in his little suitcase. He fits in the suitcase. All right. With that, I'm going to bed. I'll see y'all in the morning. And we'll make all his clothes and his robes and his little accessories. And then we'll be done. I just woke up and it is 10 a.m. We have three hours to finish. And we're going to get to going and we're going to finish all of the mouse's clothing items and accessories so we can be done by one o'clock. I just finished making his little shirt and now I think I have to make him pants. Oh, a dress. Just made his little shirt and now I'm going to make a little red dress. And we finished his little dress. Isn't it adorable? Alright, the dress is done. Next is the robe, which looks like that. So we're going to get started on the robe. And then I think all that's left after the robe is the blanket and then the patches that go on the actual suitcase. Well, first of all, look at how cute she is. This is my crochet buddy for today. She's been laying on my legs. I just finished the mouse's robe. And it is by far the cutest piece of clothing in this pattern. Um, also, I'm realizing that like my mouse is a little lopsided, but it's fine. Um, but look, it literally has sleeves and this rope keeps it closed. Like if I untie it, it'll undo. And there's a hole for his tail. Oh my god. Like this is, this is the best part of this pattern so far. So freaking cute. And it wasn't that hard to make at all. So I thought I was done with clothing, but there are pair of slippers that I still have to make so I'm gonna make the slippers to go with this oh no 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 and then what else do we have left we just have the cheese the pillow the blanket and the teddy bear so just a couple more things and a couple little little things and um as far as time goes we have about an hour left until one o'clock so I'm gonna try and get the rest of it done he has matching slippers. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing I've ever made. Alice agrees. Huh, Alice. Adorable. Also, he doesn't have a name. If anybody wants to suggest a name, drop some name suggestions in the comments and we can figure out what to name him. I'll just put him back in here while I finish the rest of the stuff. Okay guys, it's been 24 hours and I finished my suitcase, mouse in his suitcase. So, since the 20, I did it in 24 hours, a little over, I think I went like 20 minutes over, but we did it. 24 hour crochet challenge and now I want to go through this whole thing and give, for one, give a little bit of a pattern review. What parts were easy, what parts were hard, what part I loved and what part I hated, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, let's fix this a little bit. And just give you like an overall everything that's in this, comes in this pattern and this suitcase. This is the suitcase. It has two patches. This is supposed to be the Eiffel Tower. Uh, I obviously can't embroider thread. Um, and this is supposed to say, I love New York City. Again, you know. And this one has a, this side has a pocket, which holds one of the first accessories that I'm going to show you, which is his bathrobe and his slippers so we'll go ahead and put those to the side but just talking about the suitcase it has foam board in it to keep it structured and i actually really liked making this the only part i didn't like is the buttons i don't like working with buttons so having a button fastener is kind of annoying but i got through it then it opens up it's very structured because of the foam board here is our mouse he turned out really great uh, the part that I didn't really like about this pattern, there's one part of this pattern I think there's a mistake in, and it's when you're making the mouse from the pattern. Everything is good until you get where you're supposed to start doing attaching the arms, and where the pattern said to attach them would put his arm here and here. So I think her counting was a little off because I did it over and over again and I ended up with the same thing. So I basically just added like nine single crochets in the pattern and it evened everything back out. But 
that's something that I would caution you with when you're making the mouse if you buy this pattern. But other than that, I really liked it. It was really easy. All of these are single crochets or slip stitches. I'm pretty sure this whole thing besides the blanket is just single crochets and slip stitches. So, um, And the pattern was very well written and there's a lot of pictures. So I definitely recommend it. But this is the little mouse, okay? His other accessories. He has a little teddy bear. I think is adorable. He has a pillow, obviously. And a blanket, which is just like granny stitches. But it fits perfectly. Everything is measured out perfect. I just kept the same hook that I did in the beginning all the way through with every piece of accessory. Um, it is a bigger hook size and bigger yarn than she uses in the pattern. So my whole project is a little bigger. But if you just keep it consistent throughout every piece, everything will fit and line up. So the other side of the suitcase has a pocket which holds his dress, his red dress, and his green top and his piece of cheese. So I'm going to show you how these outfits fit on the mouse. So first of all, this cheese is super cute. There was a little adaptation in the pattern that let you have like a little snap button on his hand so he can hold the cheese, but I don't have any snap buttons. So this is the green shirt. Now in the pattern, it has you add a button here so that this loops around the button and it's on tighter, but I didn't want to do the buttons. So just because I hate working with buttons. So I'm just gonna slip it over his head. The armholes fit his little arms in. And then you would have a button here to close. And then here's his little t-shirt. Isn't that adorable? So there's his t-shirt and everything goes on and off like really easy. And then here's his dress. His dress goes on just similarly like the shirt you would pin it in the back with a button. Um, and there's his little dress, isn't it adorable? It has little um, like flurries on the bottom to kind of make it rounded out. And it goes on and off really easy. His other little accessory says teddy bear, which was super easy to make. And I actually think I'm gonna use this section of the pattern for other projects. Um, my favorite piece of clothing out of this whole kit is the robe because it has armholes, it has a rope that literally feeds through the loops just like a normal robe and it has a spot for his tail so i thought it was like the coolest detailed piece of this project besides that mouse itself but i really enjoyed making the robe it was so easy and for how easy it was it turned out so cool like look his little arms fit and you can wrap the front around like a normal robe and then you just tie it and this this rope that i made feeds through it's not sewed into the robe at all it feeds through these little loops so isn't this adorable then that's not it you get matching slippers and they fit perfectly to his big old mouse feet you just slide his foot oh. you just slide his foot through like the foot part like any other slipper and they fit and they stay on so i thought this was really cute and look, now he has like a little slipper and robe outfit. But yeah, that's all the stuff that comes in this kit. I love this pattern. Overall, I give it 10 out of 10. Um, full disclosure, the pattern maker did not reach out to me. I just found it on Etsy and decided that I wanted to make it for this 24-hour video. But if you do want to buy this pattern, it's on Etsy. I'll link it in the description box below. And if you made it this far in the video, subscribe to my channel, like this video if you enjoyed it, and comment down below what you think we should name our little mouse friend, because he doesn't have a name right now. So if you have a name idea, comment it down below. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Love you. Bye.